So today, we have the fire demon, Rodan, taking on the king of the hollow earth, Kong. Who wins? Oh, let's find out. So, in Kong versus Godzilla, Kong is like 250 feet plus taller than he was in Kong Skull Island. He was already strong enough to overpower and kill a Mire Squid and the Alpha Skull Crawler. Now, he's strong enough to swing around a Warbat, as well as just kill two Warbats almost simultaneously, overpower them easily. Uh, fight against Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla, rip Mecha Godzilla's head off, and even fight against Godzilla under the water, which is pretty insane. Uh, but what about Rodan? How big is he? Well, he's 154 feet long, weighs nearly 40,000 tons, and has a wingspan of 871 feet. He effortlessly destroyed several fighter jets simultaneously with his wings, overpowered Mothra easily, and even briefly fight against Ghidorah, although that was brief. Uh, but I also just need to talk about the force of his wings when he flies. He destroyed an entire city just with the force of him flying over it. An entire scenery, that's how much force that he generates just by flying. Uh, but overall, I'd say Kong is stronger. He's also larger than Rodan. But I think everyone can agree that Rodan can hang in there. Now, with durability, Kong isn't the toughest titan out there. He's just not. He doesn't have a tough hide or scales like someone like Godzilla or Ghidorah. Like, bullets won't kill him, but he does feel them. They, they do sting a bit. He did endure beatings from Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. Uh, also, when his shoulder was dislocated, he simply just popped it back into place. No big deal. And when he was younger, he even uh, kept on fighting after a napalm explosion. But when it comes to Rodan, he only has two real durability feats. He survived Ghidorah's gravity beams at close range and being stabbed in the chest by Mothra's stinger, which was so bad that it left a very noticeable hole in his chest. There's also the fact that he's unfazed by extreme heat, seeing that he was asleep in a volcano for millions of years. Also, missiles did absolutely nothing to him either. Yeah, I'd say Rodan is more durable than Kong. He's also obviously faster. He can fly at least 1500 miles per hour as he easily uh, outdid those fighter jets. This means he's flying at about Mach 2 speeds and is three times faster than Ghidorah in terms of raw speed. He's also quite agile in the air, seeing that he easily did a spin with no problem. But, Kong did dodge and block Godzilla's atomic breath. Uh, but, he's an ape. His body is designed for agility and athleticism. He literally used Skull Island and then later Hong Kong as his own personal jungle gym, jumping from mountain to mountain and then from building to building. Uh, his agility will be his only real counter to Rodan's flight. Now, Kong isn't necessarily a skilled fighter, but in comparison to all the other titans, he is the best in close quarter combat. As it seems, he had the edge over Godzilla while when they were fighting in close quarters. He's also highly intelligent, the smartest titan out there. He's smart enough to use things in his environment as weapons, like trees, boulders, etc. He's also just really good at using his environment to his advantage, like when he fought Godzilla in Hong Kong. He was really throwing Godzilla off his game a little, as he was using buildings to his advantage, like jumping between them, using them for cover, etc. Then there's the Battle Axe. By itself, it was able to cause minor damage to Godzilla and Mechagodzilla. But, while juiced up on Godzilla's atomic breath, it was able to send Godzilla flying through a skyscraper and cut Mecha Godzilla into pieces. So, who wins? Well, 
The biggest thing going for Odin is his flight and his flying speed. He is also tougher than Kong, but Kong is still bigger, he's stronger, he's smarter, more athletic, and he has his battle axe, which doesn't have to be juiced up to do decent damage to Rodan. I mean, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla are clearly tougher than Rodan is, and they were still hurt by it when it wasn't juiced up. I think Rodan could win if the fight took place in a wide open area where Kong couldn't utilize his environment very well, but in a city or somewhere like Skull Island or Hollow Earth, I'm pretty positive Kong would win. Use that agility, use his war axe, and one good hit, and I think Rodan will go down. It might not kill him, he might retreat or be knocked out, like he was in King of the Monsters when he got hit by Mothra Stinger, Stinger and then earlier when he got hit by Ghidorah's Gravity Beans. But he didn't see him for a good chunk of time after both of those injuries. So he might not die, but I do think he would go down. Yeah, I'm siding with Kong on this one. King Kong wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and leave, hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace.